What's happening, everybody, and welcome to Combro Stations, a show where we record conversations we were gonna have anyway and upload it to the internet. Most of the times about video games and movies and other stuff. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro, with the most below, Sheps Almighty. How's it going, bro? It's going good. You blasted through that intro. Do you know what? I'm getting really good at this. I don't know if you know, but I've become a professional just You're overnight. Professional. Overnight now, I am. That's great. I'm professional at a lot of things. It took six years of YouTube to become professional. If right, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, today we are going to be talking about X. Xbox and their new consoles. So we've got some information about the specs of the Lockhart and yeah. Anaconda. For those of you guys that don't know, Xbox have the rumors of having two consoles being released next yeah, year. Yeah, it looks like they're going to come out with a, like a base version and a pro, effectively. Exactly, yeah. One more beefier and the other one a bit more affordable. Yeah. Right now, the, sp the, the code names are Lockhart, which is the smaller, more, like, model, more yeah. affordable one, and Anaconda, yeah. the big beefier one that could swallow a cow or something exactly. like that. So if you're going to play with the Anaconda, wash your hands afterwards. Exactly. 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 We always recommend that's a conversation recommendation. Yeah, right there. we should say as well this is a leak. It's not confirmed. Exactly. The PlayStation that is a an official statement by Sony to Wired magazine. Exactly. That's what they say they will have. So it's pretty com much confirmed. That's exactly. exactly what we're getting. This is more of a leak. More of a leak from various people talking around yeah. in the industry. Let me go through first of all this the Lockhart specs. information. The Lockhart is supposed to be the more affordable one. It's supposed to be around about two hundred and fifty dollars, which is okay. a very attractive price. I'm liking that price. Very attractive price. It's supposed to pack an eight core CPU around about four teraflops of GPU power so that's like the PS4 Pro just under the PS4 Pro level yeah I have to say straight away I guesstimate the PS5 is going to be about 500 that's way less than half the performance for half the price so um, I like the price point four teraflops versus 14 what I think they're trying to do with this they're being very, very strategic with this the PlayStation right now the PS4 Pro is around about 250 to 300 dollars and it's the last I see gen what you're saying. I see and what you're it's saying. about the same price I, see what you're I think they're trying to knock them out of yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's brand new. It got released last last yeah. uh, last it's month on one generation. Whatnot. Exactly. Cool. I think that's what they're trying okay, to go with that okay, one, okay. which is a good tactic. I it's going to apparently have twelve gigabytes of RAM total. There's going to be some of that reserved yeah. for the operating system and some of that for the GPU. Important to remember, this is the Lockhart, the base model. The, the base the model, weak, yes. The less powerful one. Less powerful one. One terabyte SSD, which is a bold move if you're trying to bring Fancy. down the press. Yeah. But it's good for that press anyway. Uh, and direct X ray tracing support as well, sure. like we've mentioned. So you can do the ray one. tracing, which is all to do with like light. And lighting stuff. and how realistic it looks more fancy rendering stuff. Yeah. yeah how do you feel first of all about the lock car i like that price point mm -hmm. don't like the power yeah, it's, price point. it's not for us. No. We're the kind of guys that sees an awesome new tech and we buy it day one, overspend, and then sure. regret it afterwards. However, <laughs> the way I justify it to myself, so like we did that with the PS4, yeah. the way I justify that is that I keep it to the next gen. It yeah. does the solid tour of duty five to eight, six to eight years. Yeah, it and does it last a very, days. very long time. So I'm not too fussed about paying for the, you know, the, if it came out with the PlayStation, PlayStation Pro, I would have got the Pro mm -hmm. if they'd been there at the same time because I know I'm keeping it for the, and that's the thing about the console is, Anything that comes out, you know your console can play it. Yeah. I'm not loving it. I gotta say, it sounds for the price point of what I guesstimate is about half of what the PS5 will do, mm -hmm. or way under half the power. If I didn't know the PS5 specs, I'd be interested. Yeah. Let's Soon. talk about the Anaconda now, which is the more higher end model. Yeah. That like one's the pro. The version pro version, version yeah. exactly. And it's going to be around about four nine nine dollars, so five hundred dollars there. Okay, okay, okay. It's a higher price. But that's but what I said about the PS5. About exactly. In that window, yeah. That's what we was expecting. Yeah. It's going to have a much stronger 12 teraflop uh, GPU okay. so from 4 to 12 there it's a bump. It's three Big times jump. the power. Three times the power for double the price. Exactly. So it's, it's more than that Google Stadia. They were yes, saying it's going to be Google roughly Stadia. around about 10.7 uh, teraflops. Two less than the PS5. Two less than the rumored PS4. So the PS4 was... Five. Is, uh, sorry, PS5, my apologies. Is rumored to be around about 14 teraflops based on dev kits that have gone out. Yeah. So that's a bit interesting. And we're yeah. guessing about $500, pounds, euros, whatever. Yeah. Pretty close. Less, but pretty close. Okay, yes. what, what else is it coming uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, that is more than the base model Lockhart. It's more than the Lockhart. It's, it's not a lot more. It's only four gigabytes more, by the way. It's yeah. GDDR6 RAM, by the way, the one that's Good dedicated RAM. to the, to the GPU. But the rumored, so the, the specs that were in the dev kits that went out to developers is 28 gigabytes for the PlayStation 5. Four of that being for the OS and then 24 being for yeah. the GPU. So 24 versus 
four of that 16 is going to be for the OS like it is in the so PlayStation. 12. So 12 versus 24, literally double. What I'm going to say is take the PS5 out of this. I'm not digging the price from Lockhart to Anaconda. It's not a double amount of specs double, jump double for double the, the price. It's not doubled the spec. I do have one question that like has come up, which is that if the Xbox is going to be 500 at those specs, is the PS5 going to be more like 600? However, they could be trying to get even more profit margin out of this. Yeah, the, the thing that makes me think about what they're going to do with the price is usually Xbox are the kind of guys that are like, yeah, it's a games console, but you can do also a ton of other things. Yeah. And I think that's how they're going to justify the price. They're going to be like, yeah, it's a games console. It's really powerful. Look, it's got 12 teraflops of power, but also you can use it to control your TV. You can use it to talk to Google or, or uh, Cortana, I should say. You can you can get it to order Chinese food for you and stuff like all these extra stuff you that nobody really wants. You can do no, with the PlayStation. Is that, nobody really wants any of that stuff. Whereas, and it doesn't do 8K? Uh, they haven't mentioned that in it. No 8K support. That's so again, this is a leak. Right <laughs> yeah, we got to say this is a leak. It and sounds may, about right. And they may have not chosen to to go with that as well. Yeah. Like whereas PlayStation, they went, let's show off how much power it's got. What can people understand? Yeah, they understand 4K and they understand 8K. We'll do two of that. We'll do two of those. Go right there. Two 4Ks. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, just on that, I'm not digging the price jump. So I wouldn't be getting an Anaconda. Yeah. Because I'd feel ripped off that I was paying twice the money and not getting twice the performance. It feels bad, right? And it may be that the Anaconda is really well priced for what it is. But then that means that the Lockhart is really overpriced for what it is. Yeah, exactly. So one's out of somebody's fucked up. One's somewhere. not in the right window. Exactly. And either way, it's you being screwed from whichever way you're yeah. thinking about it. And whatnot. Now, if that was the price and it came with something, so if if that's the price and it comes with the year long, <laughs> maybe the, connect, maybe the uh, Microsoft. If it came with the Game Pass out the gate, so really yeah. getting almost a hundred dollars off. Mm -hmm. You know, the console's four hundred, but you'll get and the Game Pass. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's better. Yeah. But so if that's the bundle, if they bundle that in plus an actual game, yeah. you know, and a controller or two, that would seem more reasonable. That yeah. would seem more reasonable. I'm trying to be positive because I've got to say my, my knee-jerk reaction is to say the PlayStation has this dominated. Yeah, yeah. It's not just a destroyed. good feeling from the first thing. Just destroyed. Now, I will say that Microsoft's thing for a very long time has been services. That's their, that's yes. their main bread and butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where they want to go because... Yeah. In terms of business and whatnot, services are what Small makes money. Exactly. Are the way to go. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing that makes you a lot of money. That's why EA Access is all about the thing right yeah, now. Yeah. They're moving to PlayStation. And I'm sure they'll like have. That. They'll say there's some cloud processing stuff as well yeah. to like make bridge the gap a bit. I think that's why what they're going to go with. They're going to pull out on stage and they're going to be like, with this Xbox, you get the full power of Xbox cloud service as well. And we're going to announce this brand new streaming service they've been talking about, which is the Scarlet thing they've been mentioning. Just, and they're going to talk about how Game Pass is really cool. And they're going to rely mainly on that and not rely yeah. too much on the specs of Because i got to say, like, in terms of hardware for console, it looks like the PS5 has it dominated. Mm -hmm. In terms of like exclusives, it looks like Sony has them dominated. In terms of family-friendly gaming, Nintendo's got that Everything. <laughs> They just own that market. It's like, let me try Fine. a friendly... No, 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 Nintendo's gone. Nintendo's All gone. Right. Then, so it's down to like streaming and stuff. But why would I use this and not Stadia? Yeah, that's another thing. We So far, Stadia, from what people have been saying, it looks like it's going to be fantastic. I will say PlayStation, while they do have that PlayStation Now service, which is good only because you can download the games to your console yeah. if you want to, which is fantastic. It doesn't seem to be anywhere on the same level as Stadia or what Xbox is planning. Yeah. So that's where they're lacking. Sure. I don't think they can really pull it out of the bag in a year or a year and a half, no, however long no, it's going to come along. But if they could, then they would have the full set of cards, a full house right in front yes. of them. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I believe that Xbox are going to lean heavily on their services because they feel like they've like got said, a better foothold. Unless this though. comes with the Game Pass. Yeah. It, let's say this is true which is a leak, but if this is accurate mm -hmm. and it doesn't come in the Game Pass, I say it flops. Yeah. I really think it could flop. That said, there are a lot of people that are price sensitive. And, yeah. But the question is then how how far toned down is the Lockhart gonna have gonna be playing games? I think it's gonna be good because I mean I'm on the PlayStation 4 Pro and it's a roughly around about the same yeah, sort of power. You're asking this to it's be you're asking the PlayStation Pro Plus effectively yeah, yeah. to do the next eight years of gaming. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if it will last that long because yeah. it's like technology advanced so quickly. It's fucking rockets every single year. If you look at the 
the PS5 specs compared to the PS4 specs, yeah, mate, yeah, it's enormous. It's such a huge jump. I think the PS4 and, has like two teraflops. And also, if you think about this as well in another way, don't get me wrong, the price is a little bit different. The Xbox One X is around about six teraflops of power. Yeah, and the Lockhart is four. Yeah, not okay. So it's like a step down. Like, why wouldn't you just continue making the Xbox One X, which you uh, can cut the manufacturing costs now because you've already got that system All the going? Old tooling, yeah. It seems a bit strange, it right? Is, it is a bit odd. Like I said, this is a leak. Yes. So we don't know if this is like 100% confirmed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, they, the specs sound about right. But once you've seen what Sony's released, it's not hard to make fake specs that sound close. Exactly. So, you need to, you can make educated guesses if you're anywhere near the like industry. I can see on there it's saying that they're using Ryzen uh, and video graphics. Exactly. Using a Navi processor, a Navi GPU and whatnot, like, Ryzen processor. All these kind of words that we've heard around the industry and everyone down from the Sony release. Exactly. So, and Ryzen's a very, very popular CPU that everyone's very good. using. Very like, good. Very bang so, for your buck. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, to be honest, we got E3's, what, a month away? A month away. We'll have to wait until... If they don't announce it then, if they don't confirm what their specs are, I'll actually think this is legit. Yeah. And they're crapping their pants. Mm. So... We're, we're like going to find out in a month. We are going to find out in a month. Come back to the show for for the yeah. E3 press so coverage that we'll be doing. Now's a good time to subscribe. Gently tap that notification Just bell. Gently. Don't Just smack gently. it. Caress Don't smack it. it. Yeah, Caress love it. it. Give it that love. <laughs> uh, and you can like the video and leave a comment. Because <laughs> no, really, I'd love to know what you think about the two consoles, the Lockhart and Anaco. I know they're code names, but they're coming out with like a budget and a pro version effectively. Mm-hmm. And then that in comparison to the PlayStation 5, which has significantly better stats than the Lockhart yep. and barely better stats than the uh, Anaconda. Anaconda. So, yeah. I mean, and this isn't like a, you know, the console wars, all fun and games, but I, I have a soft spot in my heart for the xbox because i spent the so many hours and years playing through the halo franchise he's a big master chef fan i love master chef <laughs> so so i have a soft spot for that yeah. but i don't know man it looks like sony's got them dominated at the minute and also as you said before we had a conversation about this before competition competition is great for us uh, a rising tide raises all ships as you said absolutely i but- want this console to do great and i want the Microsoft exclusives to be amazing because it will force every developer to up their game. Yeah. And when you don't have competition, you get Fallout 76, you get uh, Anthem, you get Game of Thrones Season 8, yeah. right? Because there's no competition. But when there is competition, you get amazing things like Avengers Endgame and you get uh, Pikachu, Detective Pikachu and stuff yeah. like that. Exactly. That's great. All right, should we move on to our Let's next topic, Brazif? Let's go. Let's go.